Two Cowleys come to Greenholm Primary to coach teacher James Bird as he takes a Year 4 science lesson investigating solutions. Watching from a nearby room, Sue will be helping James to tackle his habit of over-explaining things and be encouraging him to take a breather during his lessons. Sue will provide hints and tips on how to take a step back and relax and will be providing live feedback on how James is managing his class. At the moment, I'm sometimes finishing a, uh, a day feeling slightly drained. So really wondering what can I do that's really going to help me get them to be just doing things in a way that isn't going to constantly require me to be uh, getting them back on task and giving them direction. Great. That's what I'll be looking out for in your classroom. We're joining James and his Year 4 class in the afternoon and we're going to be watching a science lesson. Now, James has asked me to look at a couple of things for him. First of all, there's the perennial issue of noise levels. Is the class too noisy? Is it really an issue? What about all the calling out that he says they do? Is there something he's missing that he could perhaps try to deal with that? The other thing James would like me to think about is whether he's trying to ask the children to over-rationalise how they behave. He says he spends a lot of time with them talking about why do they behave like this, how should they behave. Could it be that he'd be better off just telling them what they need to be doing? Let's take a look and see if I can give him some advice. Just put it on your sh shirt for now. Yes, Dan, can you sit down, please? We were working beautifully. I now need you to make sure you are keeping quiet again. So I'm stopping, Rihanna, until you're, you stop talking. Thank you. Yeah, carry on. James, when he finishes explaining, can you give the whole group a couple of really positive, oh, fantastic, great ideas you're coming up with, guys? Um, now, Sam had a good idea. He said that Dad should go by himself. What reason did he give Dad? What reason did he give Dad? Beaver, are you OK? What's the matter, Anna? Right, can you show Ronan? James is just Ronan, starting the afternoon with a little bit of guided reading, where his idea is to work with one group to check on their progress, while the others are on task with different reading activities. Well, we a new term at school. Yeah? Imani. Because like he's the oldest there and, he ha and he has to like a ask for help and then the children can like look after them. Do you know what you you guys come up with some really good ideas, but are they coming from here? Yeah. From the writing? Yeah. Where does it say in the writing a reason? Yeah. Jordan. That they're supposed to be faster then. Good. You'll be faster without us, yeah? Okay, good. Right then. I'd like you when I say go to make sure you put your sheets back in the right tray. So we're moving into science now, and James has set the class a little target for their packing away time. Then they're going to stand behind their chair so he knows they're ready to move on. Do you know what? When you guys are focused like this, it is so good to see you working. Because when your brains are nice and calm, and when everybody's thinking about what we're doing with our class rules and stopping and listening, it means we can whiz through things. <laughs> now, two days ago, we didn't manage to finish our science, did we? Because we ran out of time. Because I just said, right, I'm just going to stop. I'm going to wait. I don't think I'm going to need to do that tonight, today, am I? No. I really, looking at you guys, I can tell that we are really switched on. <laughs> OK, so that's really good to see. This is where we're getting into the um, over-explanation, the rationalisation. So I'll watch James here and see whether he is doing too much of it or whether it's just the right amount. This is not sugar. This is a special magic powder. OK? Special magic powder. OK? I can... Just going to wait. All oh, this is what I mean about stopping. Here we go. Now you can see it. Special pageant. Special magic powder. Now, I can make this disappear. You will be able to see this, and I'm going to then work my magic, and you're not going to be able to see it. OK? Oh, excuse me. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> right then. Here's my magic powder. 
James, just, just pause for a second, OK? You've got their attention with the resources. Just pause for a moment to get them to calm down a bit. I'm just going to wait until we're nice and calm. <laughs> <laughs> now you can see it. I'm then going to ask my... Oh, well, I'm going to look for an assistant, actually. A magic assistant. Lovely. He's using the... I'm looking for an well, assistant that, to tempt them into sitting nicely. Right, then. I was hoping that I could show you something special, but you obviously think that you know just as much as I do. That's one warning to Shana. Please don't shout out, cos that's stopping everyone else from carrying on, isn't it? Thank you. Right. Who thinks they could come and make that disappear? Cos I can still see it. OK, right. Um, Miss Thompson, could you go and get a teaspoon, please, from the back, and could you give it to someone? OK. Maybe she can pick out who she thinks has been sitting beautifully. Get your TA involved. Brilliant. Good choice, Miss Thompson. Come on, then, Anisha. Right, Anisha. Lovely, well done. We've got some salt. I mean, magic powder. <laughs> can you come and see if you can make it disappear? When I say go, you're going to go and work on that table for the first minute. Now, we're only going to have a minute. Only going to have a minute, because we want to whiz through these, don't we, OK? And then we're going to come back and do a little bit more thinking about how we're going to have an James, experiment. are they going to discuss it in their groups? Okay. So you're just going to discuss it, OK? You're going to, by the end, for each table, I want you to be able to say, we think it's going to be either soluble or insoluble. So it's a group decision. And your group's going to decide which one's going to happen. OK? So you're going to be working well. Which key aspects are we going to use? So something you'd yes, miss there. And you do this in the heat of the lesson. You tell them you're going to go and you're going to look at it and you're going to do this and you're going to do that. But what the kids need to know is, how do we do it? Are we going to talk about it? Are we going to decide individually, as a group? So we need to make it really clear it's going to be a group discussion and a group decision and you've got one minute to do it. Josh, would you like to come and Just take one, uh, one, please, Harry. Can you take one, please, Josh? And then, Anisha, you can take the rice over to your table, please. Right, Puffin and Walker, you've got two to discuss. James, when you set them off on this activity, do it so that they're calm. So really calm, really gently. I'm gonna set you off. Right then. Off okay. We go. Do you know so what? I take think, your voice down. I think me. we are now ready to move to our tables. Yazdan's definitely ready. Take your voice down a bit, just gentler, okay. softer. And on their bottoms. Just relax. Okay. That's lovely. Okay. Right, when well, we're all nice and calm, I think we're gonna be ready. Right. Miss Thompson, can you work with Beaver, please? Thank you. Right then, let's have a look at this then. Right, Anthony, what do you think this is? Sugar, so sugar. OK, do we think it's going to dissolve or not? You think it's going to dissolve? So is it going to be soluble or insoluble? Soluble. Soluble, that means it will dissolve. Why do you think that? So James is 45 minutes now into his afternoon session and the whole time pretty much he's been teaching full on high impact, in with groups, with the whole class, in with individuals. Perhaps he needs to learn to adapt his lesson planning so that there are moments during the course of the day when it's not all down to him, it's down to the children to get on with things by themselves. That's great, James. Take a rest. They're really engaged. Yeah? Give yourself a break. You're doing great. When you pull them back together this time, yeah. don't feel that you have to ask them to come back to you. Just do that, you know, we're silent and just pause and calmly wait for them. Don't feel you have to call them back to you. OK, okay you're doing great. This is one of the areas where he is expending too much energy. He's trying to pull the class to him rather than encouraging the children to understand that they control their own behaviour. 
And perhaps this also links into the rationalising. Maybe he's talking it through with them too much. Just wow. get them to get themselves quiet. They're, you know, they're year four. They're able to do this by themselves. He's brought his body down. He's brought his voice down. The whole levels come back down. So you're deciding for yourself if you've got that right. OK, go ahead. James, that's great. You've brought your voice down. And do you see how their behaviour has calmed as well? So just thinking for themselves, that's fantastic. You've really got them back together. Well done. What else about the water could we maybe keep the same? Yan? How hot and cold. How hot and how cold it is. Because actually, if you've ever had coffee, if it's hot, it might dissolve. If it's cold, it might not. OK? So, Yan, Yazdan, you were going to say something else. What was the other thing? Sorry, Nahid. Same amount of solids. Same amount of solids. Um, right, who was I going to ask that to? Chloe, why would it be important that you have the same amount of solid? He's, he's got this lovely way of asking questions in that when he asks a question, he looks puzzled himself. And that, that's a kind of indicator to the children. Mm, well, why would we do this? Why would that happen? It encourages the children to be thinking and formulating ideas as well. That's very good. Well, what are you going to do to help it dissolve? Yeah, Anisha mixed it, didn't she? So what happens if you mix one for two minutes and mix one for one second? Would that be fair? OK. Ah, so we're going to all have to make sure that we are mixing in the same way. OK, right. OK, hands down, please, because we need to think about this and plan this so we all do the same so it's fair. OK. So James has got his class settled now. And they're beautifully quiet. They're writing up the experiment and they're really focused on, on their work. James was worried that he was trying to rationalise too much with the children, trying to get them talking and thinking about their behaviour. And I think to an extent he's right. Sometimes he should just tell them, you do it like this, and unfortunately, if you don't do it like this, then we don't do the activity. But overall, he's done a great job, and I think he can be proud of himself. He's gone for an ambitious science lesson there, and he's pulled it off. You're doing this thing where you're constantly trying to pull them to you and actually they need to learn to come to you of their own accord. So I think, because I could give you permit, almost permission, isn't it? Just mm, wait a second, yeah. James, just wait, just wait for them, wait mm. for them. Then that allows you to relax a bit. Definitely, and, did. Just and, and I'd come to you saying, I just feel exhausted by the yeah. end of a lesson sometimes. Yeah. And actually, looking back, I suppose if I am constantly trying to be, you know, making it, it's me who's getting them to do the right things, then I am going to feel like my energy's going. I think sometimes when you're planning a lesson, think, when are the opportunities for me to step to one side, look at the class as a whole, have that little moment to rest when it's not quite so teacher intensive? I think you did a great job, James. I think you set yourself a big challenge there, lots of resources, and you hand handled them brilliantly. Well done. Thank you.